541-9300. The Hip House is committed to offering safe access to locally sourced products from farmers that we trust. Products that can help you with everyday health and wellness. Our experts can help you pick the perfect product for your needs. The Hemp House, four locations to serve you or online at hemphousechat.com. Okay, we're going to talk money this morning because it's a wonderful thing when you have a chance to watch your money grow. We all have goals in mind. Absolutely. Uh, Brittany and Jay Hagee are here with Allon Planning Partners. But as great as those goals are, eventually real life kicks in and a diversion Amen. happens, right? Pitfalls happen pitfalls all happen. too often. And what we want to do is help folks avoid those common pitfalls. That's right. Because we have seen patterns of the same mistakes that we can mm -hmm. we recognize and we see people kind of catch yeah. themselves in. Right. Yeah. And so we want to help folks avoid those and not get caught up in those. Okay. I mean, I don't want to throw you for a curve, but like what? What's an example of a pitfall? Yeah, well, you know, we see quite a few of them, but one of, the, and we probably could talk about this for a, a day. Okay, <laughs> an episode. I'll sit back. But, but <laughs> one, one of them uh, in particular is a lot of times when folks come in, we talk about a spending plan or a budget or mm -hmm. what's your lifestyle costing you right now. You'd be surprised how many folks cannot tell you how much they're spending currently, <laughs> you know, oh. or like how much is going out of their household, you know, uh, especially since we've hit COVID and inflation and things get way more expensive. Sometimes we don't want to look at what right. we're spending yeah. out uh, or what our lifestyle may cost us every month. So it could be as simple as that, but it affects uh, retirement planning, especially for mm -hmm. those that are near or actually already in retirement. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're on a fixed income already, we need to really pay attention to what's going out of your household so that, you know, those credit card bills don't start stacking up on you, right? Mm -hmm. So it can be a huge pitfall just in not knowing uh, what your spending plan looks like month to month. Well, let me add to that, which kind of speaks to the overall pitfall would be uh, not really setting clear goals. That's right. So like not 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 just for the future, but for currently. He's, mm -hmm. That's what he's talking about, the current goals. Like what am I spending now? What should I be spending now? What should mm -hmm. I be saving now? Um, but even when you're looking at the future, kind of what you want to set as far as goals for the future, mm -hmm. some people leave it too general. Mm -hmm. I just want to save as much as I can. Uh -huh. That's a good goal. But that's not specific enough. That's kind of like saying I'm going to go on a trip, but I'm going to go to South America. Like right. Where there, right? right? Let's pinpoint. So how are you really going to get there? So being more specific and saying, that's right. I want to make sure I can have X dollars of income every mm -hmm. year for my entire life. Right. Or I want to ensure that I have X amount of dollars to pass on to this organization or mm -hmm. my kids mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. whatever it may be. So so really get it, getting specific and naming right. That's right. those goals. Do we tend to be a country that is, as a nation, that is more of a we work for our money as opposed to understanding that the money should work for you? I think we can get mm -hmm. stuck in that cycle really easily. Um, I think it's easy to, you know, how many hours can I put in and I'm working just to gather, gather, gather mm -hmm. and, and not really have a plan for once I have this bucket of money, what am I actually trying to do with it? Right. right? And so that's where we help people pause, put on the brakes for a minute and say, okay, it's great that you're trying to make more money. You're trying to save more. What is the ultimate goal that we're trying to get to? Mm -hmm. It's not just to uh, have just enough to scrape by in retirement, but even with your time and things, because folks don't realize a lot of times that once you retire, you're going to you know, have a lot more time on your hands usually. Right. So what do you want to do with your retirement? Not just uh, from a financial standpoint, but from an emotional standpoint and from uh, what you want to give and, mm -hmm. and be, uh, being generous, like what do you want to do with your time? And we help folks, not just with their finances, but really their lifestyle in retirement. Is, is rigidity a problem? And by that I mean if you're so focused mm -hmm. on no, this is what I have to do, mm -hmm. that eventually you play out because you got to find some room for fun or some maneuverability along the way. Yes, there's got to be some flexibility. Sure. So part of a well-rounded comprehensive plan is one that is very fluid because things change in life. Mm -hmm. Things change and mm -hmm. we lose our jobs or we get an illness unexpectedly mm -hmm. or we have to move across country mm -hmm. or the kids need braces. That's right. 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 It, we have to adjust and really be willing to flex with that right. um, and, and pivot when needed. Okay, but that's where, first of all, y'all are a bit unique in mm -hmm. the world that you live in because people can come to you with varying sizes of mm -hmm. income right. saved up already. Right. right? right. Mm -hmm. um, but that's where having those specific goals is so beneficial because if you know at 32 they can tell you what they want then when that's that right. pivot need occurs you've helped them kind of plan for it 
yeah, yeah. we can have flexibility there. Um, and, you know, not to get stuck on that pitfall, but another big one that I see is folks have investment vehicles, like they're 32 or they're 35 or they're 40, and they've got an investment vehicle and they think that is their investment plan. Mm -hmm. They think that is their financial plan. Like their 401k. Because it's just yep, like exactly. we're sticking money in a 401k, uh -huh. a 403b, a 457, an IRA, whatever it may be. Um, but there is so much more to comprehensive financial planning that we want to dig into. Right. I mean, how are those assets allocated for those specific goals that you have? Like, you know, because depending on time horizon or how old you are, right. you should probably be uh, invested in a different way, right, than you would be when you're closer to that goal versus far away from so it. So there's the financial side of the pitfalls, mm -hmm. but then are there investment pitfalls then too? Is that what you're saying? Oh, huge then, investment pitfalls. Then can I show people, because y'all come back our way pretty often. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can we touch on that part the next time you're here? Absolutely. That'd okay, be great. So in the meantime, here's where you'll find them. It's allonplanning.com is their website. 315-1441, whether you are 32, 62, 82, right. mm -hmm. 22, if you're that person, <laughs> that's right. uh, they would love to help that's you right. set those goals and watch your assets grow. Thanks. That's Thank right. you, Julie. Thank you. Shake off those winter blues with some retail therapy at Mercantile at